not the spell he he wanted. All right, so Lotto is going to take game number one versus Vortex. Uh, sh Mech Shaman out of the way for now, but uh, we'll, we're going to see more Mech Mage. And uh, what are the other decks? I actually missed them. Uh, for Lothar, we know that he is playing this the uh, Druid deck and the Warrior deck as well. Mm -hmm. And Vortex, I don't remember. We are going to see it in a moment. The players are ready. I think he has Warrior, and I'm not sure on the last Warlock? one. Warlock? I think I've seen Warlock. Yeah, Warrior and Warlock. No, it's yeah. actually yeah, 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 it is. So just gonna keep going with the the Mech Mage. The Mech Mage is quite good in this matchup, um, but we do see uh, innervate start, and yeah. wild growth. Um, Still, Mech Mage is great in this matchup. It's I, yeah. I think just very good is an under understatement because you can snowball so much, and with Mirror Entity, good Mad Scientist wow. gets oh. that is oh insane from both goodness. players. Let's see what everything. let's see what Lothar picks up as the third card that can actually influence it. Everything here. Uh, oh, in the oh, right shade, I guess. Shade. Yeah. Yeah. Right. There we go. Mm. That changes a lot. Yeah, because now he can trade with the uh, like. Is is gonna play the? Like this is risky. I think. Uh, I mean, I think whatever he plays it will just get traded off by the shade anyway. Yeah, and he doesn't have a frostbolt to follow this up, mm. so he can't actually kill the shade. He can coin up the the. Scientist. I, I think you coin out Scientist here because then you can yeah. ping at least. Um. Yeah, I think like there is no other play. Using the Snow Chugger here is not good. And getting the trap up early is the secret up early is really good as well. Yeah, especially after looking at only two cards from your opponent. You yeah. know that Mirror Andy will be good. I'm not sure. Is he running any zombie chows? I think he's running one, maybe. And the also, nature's not. Not a good sure draw. if Lothar was running any. Yeah, I don't think you trade here. Uh, you just lose it to ping then if you do. Yeah, yeah. you just give them a free uh, secret. You just wait because if you trade, you just lose this, and then you will, will not be able to. Well, mirror entity is going to be there, and you don't actually have a minion. Yeah. So it's uh, actually shaping up good for Ward. So for keepers are really good. Ooh. Swipe. Doesn't really do much. No, on this it ball, doesn't. It it does protect your um, shade if you decide to do it, but you don't want to activate the mad scientist now because if you do, then um, that drill of the claw is gonna be pain in the ass. Um, shape shift face. Mm. Next he, he might set up for a swipe next to. Yeah, it, it is possible, but then you can't play the drill of the claw, yeah. and then you'll still give him the drill of the claw to turn off to that. So. So uh, probably hero power face, I guess. Nothing much else. Yeah. yeah. Also, like, s keeping swipe for the next turn. The next turn, if there is spider tank or if there is a technician. Actually, use it. just swiping the, the, m the mech right here is not a bad play as well. Because then mm. he can't get value from the Tinker Town. And uh, he's going to have to play another mech before Blast Mage Yeah, as but well. if there is a spider tank, then uh, yeah. you are in an mm. awkward spot. You are. Oh, Ooh. no. What's happened there? Nothing. The game is looking good. Oh shit. Or does it not look Ooh. good? Lothar right. is not amused. <laughs> and it's us! <laughs> so, uh, welcome back, guys. And uh, Lothar mentioned a couple of games that crashed on him, I think. Yeah, 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 he, he, yeah, he, he told us. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're sorting it out right now. Do you think the client has a crash on Lothar? <sighs> I don't know, Kev. But what I do know is that that game was like pretty, pretty close. Like, there was mm. no. Dis oh, we gotta Ooh, reconnect. But the. Low farm is a turn? No, he did. He did swipe. Uh, oh, the yeah. So he did the play that I thought was correct there. And now it it's pretty awkward, you know. You you have to play the Tinker, I guess, but yeah. it's like you get no value from it, no buff. Um, you don't have any It doesn't mechs. feel great. No, and you don't have any follow up. Like Blast Mage yeah. uh, with no mechs, it's like. Ugh. Actually, that swipe worked because not only there are no mechs, uh, he also lost the uh, spare part from the technician, so there is nothing to use for Antonidas. Mm -hmm. well, and now keeps drawing the force natures, though. Yeah, uh, it's not super bad card versus mech mage, yeah. uh, but it's not really something that will win you the game. You just keep removing stuff. You trade here, uh, right? Yeah, I think you do trade. Yeah, into the free free, uh, and then it's protected by a taunt. I like it. Mm. And that's two big bodies on board. And uh, even if there is the mirror entity, you are forcing removal on your minions. Yeah, the only way Vortex deals with it is with a Frostbolt as well, since he can't use the boss mage to snipe it off since he has yeah. no mech. 
and if he just follows with minions, you do have Force of Nature to trade with whatever is being played. So you maintain board presence and are able to push for damage. It's actually shaping up pretty well for Lothar here. Yeah, for sure. This is a very difficult matchup from the Druid's perspective. And yeah. I actually saw a lot of Druid wins more than you would expect. Because Smack Mage can snowball so well. Like if Druid misses and it draw. Ooh. Oh. This is so he's going to double trade here. Uh, that's a clear at all. Yeah, I don't think that's mm. correct play. I think this is better. Oh, Ooh, face. Well, I'm not sure if that's good actually because mm, yeah. right now he's going to lose. Yeah, the if he has a fireball here, then he would have lost everything. Yeah. Yeah, that was super risky and unnecessary. Double Cogmaster. Oh, it's, mm. uh, it's all right. Yeah, I like it if there's a mech. Well, this plays into Force of Nature, Claire, I guess. It does. Uh, but you don't get too much value from the Force of Nature. Force of Nature into Double Cogmaster. Oh, well. You don't want to play that, though, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't think so. You want to keep stalling. Uh, keep removing stuff with spells. You don't want to give him any minion until you can give him something that you can actually deal with. Mm. And your shade keeps going as well. You can actually play well. it next turn um, and trade your shade into it, unless you have lethal. Because and if it doesn't take your fireball here, that r is going to get out of range. Uh, yeah. Uh, at least annoy Tron that soaks up a few a bit of damage from the shade. Well, you're not gonna play it now. Yeah, you're gonna I think play you have Lothab. to play something bigger. Yeah. yeah, you have to play Lothab and then you have to play Annoy Tron and, and, Blast, and Blast Mage, Mage. on the same turn. Yeah, but you, I think you do take another six damage. If that shade seven. seven even, yeah. That's a turn one shade, guys. If this shade can actually <laughs> take this game. But this is forcing him to play a minion here. Like, is he gonna play the the Russian here? I would not play the Russian. <laughs> uh, well, if you play it, you should trade maybe. No, oh, he's already attacked. Yeah, yeah he already so attacked, so he's not going to play it. Uh, he might consider uh, cycling here for uh, maybe Savage Shore. Yeah, I think that's good, actually. Like, even getting a Druid of a Claw is good right now. Mm -hmm. You could al also Hero Power here to the face, um, because you're getting pretty close to killing him, you know? Yeah, if you Hero Power him to the face, you're one damage off lethal next turn with yeah. Force of Nature, Hero Power. I like the cycle, though. Mm. Try to find that savage roll. Or just Ancient uh, of Law is pretty good as well because he's running out of cards. This is a very interesting, uh, interesting druid. Do you Mage think game. the correct play would have been to play the Emperor and then trade? That was one of the options. Yeah. Because it would be at 2 HP, so it can't get pinged. Um, it can get Blast Mage, but I mean, uh, there's no Frostbolt. He would have played that a long time ago yeah. if he had it. Well, oh, so but he chooses. That's to play the really weird. To me, I think he regrets the decision going face there. Yeah, I like to trade before. So now you have to trade before the Blast Mage. Or wait, yeah, you have to trade a 5 5 and hope it gets two yeah. damage on the shade. Do you trade both 5 5s? No, no, no. You trade uh, one and then you see what it hits. You still have a Noyatron, so it's not the end of the world if you don't hit it twice, you know. And even if, it, if you do hit the shade, like. Uh, the Russian is pretty good, and you're behind a taunt. You see one force of nature. You see one swipe. Let's see what it hits. All right, the blast mage is one, going to two, the side. Free. Well, so you do trade now, so I believe. I think you do play it safe and trade. Yeah, I think so too. Because what if he has a silence? Then you're just dead now. If he had to keep up the groove. Yeah, and yeah, you haven't seen that single keeper of, mm. of the groove yet. But still, I think Lothar is really ahead. Like he was able to create a situation where. He is the one dictating tempo, and the mirror entity is out, and Mechmage doesn't have that much. Mm. Angel of Law is really big here. Yeah, you can just yeah. play it easily. Especially with the one mana raw. I guess you can draw a card first. Yeah. Um, or maybe he wants to save it. For the surprise removal? <laughs> hey, well, if you get mm. Savage Roar. Oh, Savage Roar. So okay. now you want to use it. Yeah. Now you want to use the cycle. For sure. Well, no, because you can use it next turn as well, I guess. Well, you want to mm, use it to get the yeah, shield. Yeah, you, you can actually because... Uh, because it the, costs one mana. Yeah, exactly, and the Force Nature is five. Well, as far as I look at it, that's that's it, basically. Well, you don't have to use it because Force Nature is uh, for five anyway. Mm. All right, so what can Vortex actually do to not lose? He already used two Anoyatrons. And the combo is just coming. So you can go ahead and cycle it. it. Yeah. yeah. Innovate. Innovate. Not super useful, but 
Yeah. Lothar has lethal next turn. Yeah. And I don't think there's and anything that Vortex could draw that could have saved him. Man. That's I mean, it? He could actually have drawn like Tinkers with Taunt, right? And Taunted Tinkers Tinker. Taunt. Would that have been enough? Mm. Uh, um, no, yeah, it would have been enough. One tree into the Tinker. Yeah, face and into you. Into Anoitron, and then he was yeah, one damage one off. damage off lethal. Alright, so Lothar is going to say game number two versus Vortex with his Druid deck. Nice and quick series. I like it. Yeah, smork. smork. <laughs>